All right, and like that, today, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to do something a little special. And what I mean by a little special, I mean a little weird, a little crazy. There's a seed for you, and here's what's up, everybody. I am just so tired of, of items. You know what? I'm sick of them. They're no good for anybody. They're always they're always so lame. They're ne they're ne no item is ever good. So you know what? Today we're gonna we're gonna get rid of all of them. <laughs> we are going to see if you can beat the game without picking up any items. And I've chosen strategically to go as Tainted Apollyon because a commenter had suggested this challenge to me to see if I could beat the game without picking up any items as Tainted Apollyon. So there you go. This one's for you, my friend, and uh, hoping for a good one here. Theoretically, it's possible. You know, we just need to hopefully get some HP from some other source. I don't know what it's going to be. And uh, here we go. First, first Apollyon fly. There we go. All right, so this is Pin. Now, just to be completely open and honest with you guys, this is the third attempt I've had at this challenge, but I've learned enough from the first two challenge, first two challenge attempts to at least believe this is possible. The first attempt, we made it to Cathedral and died to Isaac, and in the second attempt, I died in the chest, so I know it can be done. My biggest struggle is just running out of gas at the finish. I just don't have enough damage by that point, not enough flies have been accumulated, so even C right now... How the heck am I going to get this second fly on the floor? I mean, uh, early floors, it has been a struggle to get things moving. So uh, we're going to mess around this floor and just, if, just see if anything can be shaken up to potentially help us out here. You got to take them. Ooh, I can see forever. That is, that is exactly the kind of thing we're looking for. <laughs> so now I'll be able to get into our curse room. <laughs> no. Our secret room and our second secret room. And there's money. I'm going to go ahead and see now if the shop has a battery. If it does, that's great news. Don't you love it when a plan works out? Oh my goodness. Alright, so we got Blighted Ovum on deck here. This one, we're just going to try and do our best to avoid the baby. Because he is kind of like the cheese damage for this boss. What's very interesting is... um. I kind of like that he can only shoot Brimstone in two directions, left and right. If he shot up and down Brimstone, I think this fight would be even harder than it already is. And the strategy so far has been to go for Angel Deals because I can void the pedestals. And if it's multi-Angel Deal items, like sometimes you get choice, you get several items there. Also, if we break the Angel Statue and, and void the Key Piece. Abyss the Key Piece, sorry. That's, that's the general strategy that seems to be better than the deal with the devil. I can get nothing with the deal with the devil. Let's turn into a fly, baby. Why the heck not? We don't need poop. Wow, man. That is a dream shop, is what that is. That is actually ridiculous. And there's the I can see forever pill again, which I will definitely take. I'm also going to get the spirit heart, because what I've learned in my other trials so far is, guys, HP is not easy. You're not going to get any HP ups unless it's from Eternal Hearts, which obviously are a little tough to get. And you can forget about an eighth and, you know, any real good other ways of getting HP. Alright, we've got Dark One. This will be a little bit of a challenge here. Speaking of, so we've mentioned the HP struggle. Another struggle has been the speed stat. 1.0 speed can get you through a decent portion of the game. However, once you hit Womb, you finally start to realize, like, some of those enemies are actually just faster than you, which is not easy. Um, especially in the Cathedral, those white flies that explode when killed, those guys are huge threats on this challenge. Huge. They took off, took off tons of HP in my first attempt. The second attempt went much better at those guys. And there we go. There's Mom's Pearls. So, uh, boom. And uh, we'll hold on to perfection. There's no reason not to. Decap attack. More like, give me an extra fly, baby. <laughs> yeah. Love it when a plan comes together. Now I have to find a battery charger. I think there was one in the shop, luckily. 
Brilliant. Suck up the horn, and let's... I mean, there's no real point in going in there, because if there is an item... That's best case scenario, right? If there is an item, I won't be able to abyss it, so I'm going to save my spirit heart, I think. Okay. Oh, nothing wrong with a lot of consumables. And a lucky penny, no less. How about that? Nice. Oh, another lucky penny. Okay, we're up to 12. We have yet to be hit on this run, which is very uncommon. <laughs> well, I mean, it's... I don't think I even... I don't think I got perfection on either of the last two attempts, so I don't know if that's uncommon. <laughs> But it hasn't happened for me. Yumheart, uh, you know I love you, but you gotta go. Sorry. Okay, greed. You know what? Oh, there you go. There you go. There goes your perfection. Wow, a lot of money, and honestly, I would rather have Steam Sale, but... Let's see, Caves 2, there's still two more shops, so maybe, maybe not. We'll see. Oh my god! Ah, see, this guy's, this guy's my speed! I can't get him off! That was brutal. That was brutal. Yellow Champion is fast as me and can cut corners to me. Now look at that, now I'm immediately, like, super low on HP, how fun. Okay, Gertie Jr., again, a little trickier than normal because we don't actually have the tiers to slow him down on his little... Oh, look at that. What a bounce by Girdman. But he's moving full speed. Our tier rate's not very good. Uh, so we can't really stop him. And there you go. So Star of Bethlehem, and there's actually the big, big win is the Eternal Heart. Now we're going to try and get a key piece here to turn into a fly. Beauty. And we're going to do even a little bit more. We're going to do a Judgment, and it's... Ugh. Why? Why you? <laughs> Why? Okay, well, we're not going to get a free item there, but let's try and find a way to get... Well, we have a battery on this floor, thanks to getting slapped by that champion meat. Kidney stone. Yep, sorry. Shop has some very cool things here. We will go for this, and it's the Hierophant. Oh, very, very nice. Very, very nice. Can hardly do better than that. Okay, who do we got? We got the Lokester. All right. So we do okay damage on that first burst there if we hit all of our flies. So here we go. Him sitting behind a rock doing that is like immediately a W. We can I mean, there's no point in... I can't do anything with this, unfortunately. But it's cool to look at, huh? Item room is Libra. Oh, I love Libra. I truly do. One of my favorite items, I think. And he dropped the quarter. All right. Very good. So in that case, we'll play our judgment here. Oh my god. Restock of all things. That is insane. Restock again. What's the pill? Bombs are key. All right, well, I guess it's good to know what, where that one is. Time for mom. Okay. And it's red mom too. Ay, ay, ay. So faster enemies, generally not easy to... Well, I don't know. We're kind of eating right now. I've kind of learned here with this character that in big rooms or in, you know, where you're not getting reliable shots, do not keep firing until you have a good line of sight. Because if your fly misses, it, it takes a couple seconds before it comes back to you. And those couple seconds feel like an eternity when you're waiting for your only real source of damage to come back. And here, folks, here is where you finally got me. I finally failed the challenge because in order to get anywhere past It Lives, I do have to pick up an item. So, boom. Now the challenge becomes, can you beat the game while picking up only one item? Skolex is one I feel like you never see. I feel like he's a very uncommon womb boss, but I could be wrong. I could just be complete, you know, complete tomfoolery. That is perfect. Please be multiple items. It's not, but it's Stairway, which is a very, very good item. That is a big, big shame we have to leave that one behind. 
Well, at least we got two flies out of it. And I, I it, it probably is worth backtracking for room charges. Oh, man, it's, it's actually just setting in that this run would have been a Deep Pockets Keeper Sack Restock run if I wasn't voiding items. Oh, that is pain. <laughs> that is pure pain. And wow, a late, late library. A library, the first library of the run on Womb 2. But this has the potential to give us a ton of flies. <laughs> no! No! Oh, I would take either of those. And I'd be the happiest guy on planet Earth. Oh, this run is pain. This run is pure pain. Okay. So we got a Joker card. And we're going to hope that we get to deal with the Angel. Okay, let's Joker card. We did get to deal with the Angel. So we can Abyss a little Delirium. That's a free fly right there. I'm still making moves. This this floor is still young. Now we're going to see how much we can actually do here with limited HP. It might be more than we think. I don't know. We'll have to see. Okay, we're on four. Oh, please don't drop a troll bomb. Ooh, two spirit hearts. Very, very good. In my mind, this might be one of the few times I will actually be able to prevent myself from losing full steam as soon as we get to the cathedral. Because our power curve, boys, we get we drop off hard the second we hit the cathedral. I'm trying to do whatever I can in my power to keep us in this thing as long as I can. Chest, ooh, chest with the red heart's even better. Soul Heart would be ideal. We got it. Okay, seven trolleys. Let's get the heck out of there. Let's just pick this up for insurance. Because <laughs> I do not want to die. Okay, we have a 100% chance to spawn Uriel. Let's grab this and run out. Okay, this is what we wanted. We want the seven spirit hearts. Please, game, please. Ugh. Now I'm like really low on HP for nothing. Ugh. Right, let's abyss dinner. It is a big shame we couldn't do more in this room. Those seven spirit hearts might have actually won the run. Not to be dramatic, but it it certainly might be that close. Now we've got it lives. I've got to, oh, I didn't actually kill that laser. Hopefully it does not come back to bite me. As soon as it lives comes down, we've got a very easy shot here. And doing damage for this build should actually be relatively simple. As you can see, I mean, we're, you know, for a stationary enemy, it's not a bad gig. That's for sure. Not a bad gig. Okay, that's pretty much all we can do on this floor. We did, we got more than I hoped for, for sure, in the form of that library, uh, you know, getting that extra fly in that spike room. I seriously doubt it's enough to make us strong enough here. <gasps> what a room! Oh my! <laughs> well, you know what, game? I may not have gotten the seven spirit heart drop, but the the random four spirit heart room that could be potentially huge. So there we go. If I can get out of this room without taking damage, that'll be another small miracle. Yeah, there you go. Only one hit is still fine. We're still alive. All right, all three attempts we've at least made it to Isaac, and oh no. Cats come over and stop me. All right, we now we now have Kitty Copilot. I'm gonna pop my strength card while it's here. Might as well give ourselves the best chance of getting out of Isaac relatively unscathed. I think generally at this point in the run, Isaac is usually harder than Blue Baby. Oh, that was just a stupid, stupid dodge. Anyway, look at us. We're doing great. This single strength card adding to our damage has made a world of difference. Look at us go. Do our flies do our damage? Or do they do their own? I have no idea. Down to the chest we go. Okay, well, all these items are something to be abyss. And that's four flies. That's a great boost. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, don't pick anything up. Compound fracture would be insane. So here's a room that just looks absolutely terrible. Um. Oh, no. They're, they're so fast. I, and there's nothing I can make them bounce off of except the wall. 
I'm lucky to get out of there only being hit once, honestly. Oh, Raptos is so, why? Why do you have to show up now? Oh, Lord. Boy, some of these rooms are tough, 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 tough stuff with no, no real speed or anything. Whoa! <laughs> Let's not get crazy now, Cage. Don't do that. Oh my gosh, we've actually made it to Blue Baby. Okay, now I just need to not blow my shot. <laughs> oh man, this could potentially be it. I will not have to try. Oh, that was not good. I didn't think the homing would reach me. I could potentially stop talking before I jinx myself is what I'm going to do. Well, he's got a good amount of HP on him, doesn't he? Or is it because my guys are hitting his flies? I don't know. Not impressed with the DPS. That being said, I know I'm not going to say a dang thing until he's dead. Don't even, don't, don't get me on this. Oh boy. Whew, that is a wrap, boys and girls. That is exactly how you beat the Binding of Isaac without picking up any items except for Polaroid. I hope you enjoyed. It was... It was not the most fun I could have had, but it was certainly a challenge, one I had not expected to be ever doing myself. So I hope you enjoyed. If you've got ideas like this, or if there's a character you want to see played, just let me know, and I will absolutely be doing that for you. Uh, my quest to collecting the rest of the items for Dead God, there's only a few more. Um, yeah, but in the meantime, I hope you guys enjoy, I've, and I'll see you on the next one.